What up, Dokoners? Welcome back to Junami for another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Look at this! Guys, guess who's coming up next? Oh, 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 oh. It is the ho- I mean, the god, the homie Goresh. I'm gonna leave that. This is a single take. It's Frieza. <laughs> Golden Frieza is gonna be jumping into the global side of Dokkan coming up next. The new stage of the Dokkan event coming soon. Behold, the true splendor of the evil emperor. Confront the overwhelming power of true evil. The event, True Evil Resurrected from Hell, will be temporarily unavailable during the following period due to preparations. Starting from the 30th of December, so tomorrow, or today for a lot of you, it will be unavailable. Now, the... what event is that? I think that's the... I'm gonna go find it. Evil Resurrected from Hell. So I'm gonna go look that up right now. Also, we got something else in the news. Let me see. Uh, certain purchase items. Due to strong customer authentication... European economy. Players using iOS are unable to purchase. Okay, there's just some issue for the EU. I'll just read it out. I'll just read it out. A new version compatible with SCA will be released soon. Until then, players who wish to purchase items over 30 euros are recommended to use alternative payment methods other than credit cards or debit cards. Okay, so there's just some issues for you guys over in the EU. Hopefully, it's all taken care of soon. So, you know what? Just don't summon or don't spend. Just don't do that for a little while. Now, let's go look at that event. Uh, resurrected from Hell. I'm also going to pull it up in the Dokkan Wiki. Um, I can't remember which one it is off the top of my head, but let's see. Is it in the list of events available right now? Actually, I think all events are available right now, if I'm not mistaken. So, might take a little while to scroll through and find it, but if we do, great. Oh, there it is. Yeah, this is the one. So, this is for the Golden Frieza. This is one. Yeah, okay. So, I thought it was this. This is the uh, Dokkan event where you can get the free-to-play Universe 7 Frieza. And uh, he he's not good. But the point is, they're going to be adding another stage to this guy. So I'm going to find this on the Dokkan Wiki real quick and jump on over to there. This is a very, very last-minute, single-take sort of situation. So everything is going to be very jumbled and out of control. But it shouldn't be too bad. So these are the challenge events. We want to go to the Dokkan events, which are right here. And then we will find... Really? Okay. Am I on broadband or like AOL internet again? What's going on here? Well, now we got to go find the Golden Freeze one. That's not the one. That's a Transformer. This one. Okay. So this is the event that's going to be getting a revamp. So, up until now, we've only had on Global Phases 1 and 2, right? So now we're going to be getting Stage 3. Stage 3, you will get the new metal, which then in turn awakens... <gasps> oh my gosh, you know what? With this, we're going to be getting these two as well. Oh, doggy. Okay. So we're going to be getting a bunch of stuff, I think. So first, we're going to be getting Frieza. And as you guys know, Frieza, Golden Frieza, is another Universe 7 unit. Over on JP, they had a blast with this guy because he is really, really, really good. Just check out his TUR, man. Look at his TUR. Resurrected Warriors, Otherworld Warriors, key plus 4, 150. Raises defense indefinitely, causes immense damage, and seals. So, just this right here is ridiculous. You're sealing their attacks, so they only do slaps. And then... You raising your defense means it's basically their defense versus your or their attack versus your defense. So that's already good. Then it's passive. Attack and defense plus 100 percent plus an additional attack and defense plus 50 for five turns after receiving attack and medium chance of evading enemies' attack, including super attack within the same turn after receiving an attack. Attack enemies' attack and defense minus 30 percent for two turns. So on top of sealing their attack, you lower their attack by 30 percent. And guess what? He transforms. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. Can be activated upon entering attacking turn once only. So if you want to, at any point, you can turn into Golden Frieza. And when you do, you massively raise attack for one turn, cause immense damage. Attack and defense plus 120, plus an additional 80 for both. Great chance of stunning the attacked enemy when performing a super attack. Reduces damage received by 50% when HP is 49% or less. Really? There is... There is cause for... Not, not cause. There is a justification, I should say, for using either form. Honestly. When you're running the Legendary Goku event, you probably want to run this form because you can infinitely raise your defense. And until the Godku level, you can actually nerf the enemy's attack and defense. So this is going to work for long form events. This is going to work for Super Battle Road. This is going to work for shorter events like Dokkan events and boss rushes. So Golden Frieza and also, the Golden Frieza has always been notorious for being a unit that kind of hurts the super class allies, right? That's not going to be a factor this time, because the, you know, if you look at the contemporaries for Golden Frieza when it comes to Universe Rebel Saga, you've got the Int one, who's obviously the de facto lead for Resurrected Warriors. He provides a nerf on superclass allies as well as enemies, right? 15%.
And then you've got the STR free to play one. He doesn't really do anything good, so it's not like it's worth using him. So your only real option was this guy. So every time I was always in that team building section and I would want to put together a Universe 7 team, I would always be like Goku Frieza, Burger King, UI, Blue Dudes, or I mean before they showed up, you know, Royal Blue Vegeta, 17, 18, Piccolo. Maybe if I really wanted to just like have that symmetry sort of feel. I could never include Frieza. Never. Now, I can, and he would actually be really, really good. Like, if I wanted to just do it for the sake of the meme, I would bring the Frieza, but I would do so knowing full well that I would have nerfed my allies, and I don't want to do that. That's not fun. So now, you can actually do... You can bring, bring him on your team and have no sort of consequence. And this guy is just stupid. Also, looking at his... Look at his links, alright? He's got Prodigies, Strongest Clan in Space, Universe Most Beloved, Shocking Speed, Nightmare, Tournament of Power, Fierce Battle. Massive Raising Attack, Fierce Battle. This is always a fun combination. Fierce Battle and Massive Raising Attack and causing immense damage. And 200%. 200% attack and defense. Really? Really? Okay. Sure, sure. Why not? And then, you know, worst case scenario, when you fall below 50%, you're probably going to have your UI transform, right? If you're not running the LR one, if you have the Int one, when you fall below 50%, this guy transforms. Well, at the same time, you will also gain a pretty decent chunk of tanking here, right? 50%. And you know what I like about this? There's there's context to this ability. Number one, Golden Frieza. He is notorious for being able to take a hit. Because basically in every situation that you see him, he's able to tank some, some beastly punches from certain opponents, right? Most notably in this context, in the Tournament of Power, after Goku went down, it was him and 17, right? I'm not going to go into a whole diatribe about how I hate how 17 was brought back and all that stuff. But basically, when it came down to it, he was able to take a beating from Popo and survive. He then took a beating from Jiren and still survive. So this speaks to that, and I like it because it it is accurately portraying the, the dire situation that he's in. Below 50% means you're almost dead, right? You're halfway there. So it's pretty fitting that while he gains the tanking ability, you could also run that UI transformation sequence as well. So I do like this. And he just, he looks really cool. I'm sure the animation is also going to be really good. I can't remember if I saw the animation or not. I'm going to have to go check. I actually might have. Actually, you know what? I think I might have seen it. But you know what? We'll wait. The data download should be later on. Um, and I'll drop I'll drop a video for uh, when the animation drops. Okay? So this is Golden Frieza. Now, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was these two units. So when I was looking at the Awakening Medals, these three units are the ones that benefit from it. And JP got these two Awakenings at the same time as Golden Frieza's arrival. This has been one unit that everyone has been wanting to have a better version of because on Global, he didn't... Wait, actually, hold on. Oh yeah, that's the JP version. JP, he raises defense infinitely. On Global, he does nothing. He lowers defense, right? I don't know why there's a change. But now, with the arrival of that medal, he actually awakens... Are they not showing it? Where is this Dokkan Awakening? Oh, right, it's got to be on this side. Yeah, he Dokkan Awakens into this guy. Raises attack and defense. I've already gone over this before, but basically... This unit gets his TUR, as does the Frieza. And they both become really, really good. They're also infinite stackers. So add two more units to the long form event pool of units, right? Obviously, having more extreme units that can do this is always very nice. So this would actually make for some fun Legendary Goku Met videos. But these guys have to be run together, basically, because they just get more powerful. So I'm actually even more excited because I have these two guys ra rainbow ready forever. And uh, I can actually use them. So I'm really looking forward to that. This is cool. This is cool. So, back to the back to the news. They said that it's going to be dropping on the... Is it the 30th? Let me check again. Going back to the news. Looking at this. Starting from the 30th. Okay, so it's actually going to be going into maintenance on the 30th. It'll probably start a little after the... Or maybe around, actually, at the step-up. Because we're going to be getting a step-up on New Year's. So, when exactly this is going to drop, I'm not particularly sure. But it's got to be sometime around during the whole Step Up festivities. I'm all for it. There's so much stuff now suddenly happening with Dragon Ball. Because I just got word of the whole Legends thing. So it is a good time to be a Dragon Ball fan. So that is going to be it. Ramble over. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments. Are you excited for Golden Frieza? I know. Jiren. That banner's not here yet. I get it. Let's not fixate on that. Let's fixate on the good stuff. The good stuff is we're getting Frieza. Frieza is a huge get. With that comes two Great Awakenings. We also, I didn't even mention it, but we also probably will be getting the Golden Freeze on Sorbet, I think. And that is one of the most absurd free-to-play units in the game. So what are you guys thinking? What is your what is your gut instinct telling you about the fact that Golden Freeze is going to be the next unit on Dokkan Global? 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future, and click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it! Thanks again, stay tuned, and always remember to dokecon responsibly. <laughs> it's homie time. I forgot to push end recording, son of a-